Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. Please subscribe to DP Tutorials and click on the bell icon for notifications. I got a request from one of our friends asking to show how to update Primavera P6 schedule from Excel. You might be knowing that we can export the schedule to Microsoft Excel and you can then ask your team members to update and finally the updated Excel spreadsheet can be imported back into Primavera P6. So in this tutorial let us see in detail with a small example. This is my sample schedule of a software implementation that, uh, that I would be using now which I have opened already. Let's start the process by exporting this into an Excel. First go to file, click on export, select the export format as spreadsheet, click on next. In the export type window, select all the fields and click on next. In the projects to export, select the project and click on next. In the select template dialog box, click on add and give a name like update and keep the subject area as activities and then select the column tab and include all the fields like this activity ID, activity status, WBS code, activity type, activity name, start, finish, actual start, actual finish, original duration, schedule percentage complete, remaining duration and resources. Once you are done, click OK and click on Next. Now give a file name and file location. Here I am giving as schedule update and I am saving on the desktop and click on next and click finish. We will get this export result message saying that the export was successful. Now click on close. Now let us go to the desktop and open the exporter file. Here it is. Now in this excel sheet, in the task sheet, you should be asking your team members to update only in the columns of activity status, actual start and finish dates and the remaining duration. Okay, here you need to remember two things that we maintain the same date and text formats as per Primavera and the other thing is that Primavera P6 doesn't read the columns containing the asterisk in the headers. Okay, let us update now some three activities to test. Say these three project start milestone, explore opportunity and define charter. Okay, first for project start milestone activity, I enter the activity status as completed an actual start date as 10th August. I apply the same format and we'll leave rest as it is. Okay. Then for the second activity, explore opportunity activity, enter the activity status as completed, actual start as 4th August with the same format again and actual finish as 7th August and the remaining duration as zero as it is completed okay now go to the third activity define project charter here i'm entering the activity status as in progress i will give the actual start as 12th august with the same format and will leave the actual finish as blank as it is in progress and the remaining duration as say four days okay now we are done with the updating of schedule in terms of activities. Okay. Similarly, if your schedule is resource loaded, you can update by adding relevant columns. You can also update the cost by going to the project cost sheet. Okay. Now save this Excel document 
and remember to close this excel document or else primebra will throw an error message while importing let us now import the schedule into primebra and check if it is updated go to primebra open the schedule go to file and click on import select the format as spreadsheet and click next browse the excel file from the desktop click open and click on next in the import type dialog box select all fields to import and click next or else as per your requirement we want to import the excel file to the same opened xer file so select the same import to xer file and click on next and finally click finish once the import is done you will get a message like this saying the import was successful click close now you can clearly observe that the activities that we have updated in the excel are shown with letter a in primavera like this see start milestone as completed explore opportunity as completed but started on 4th august and define project charter activity as in progress to complete this update process you need to now schedule the project with a new data date so that your entire schedule gets recalculated okay let's say 14th august and i'm clicking on the schedule it is getting recalculated so now this is your final schedule got it friends it's very easy right so friends this is how we can update primavera p6 schedule from excel i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial if yes please give me a like share and comment for further more interesting videos please do subscribe to dp tutorials thank you friends thanks for watching